Hi, my name is Cami Smith, and welcome to And So Much More. We have such a delightful conversation for you all to join in on today. Um, we are here with uh, Dr. Hurt, who is a respected neurosurgeon here in Lynchburg for the last for more than fifty years, correct? Yes. Yes. Uh, we have Laura Hamilton representing Beacon of Hope, which is an incredible nonprofit here in our community. And then Dina Todd, who is over the Virginia Henderson Institute for Clinical Excellence. And so each of them are going to contribute to this conversation that we're going to be touching on today, which is a legacy of giving. And so um, specifically, Dr. Hurt has been so gracious to share his heart and his passion for this community, for the education. Um, and, and I'm so excited to hear because I've read so much about you and your wife and your love for this community. And so to hear it from you is going to be an honor, but also Beacon of Hope and, and the Institute for Clinical Excellence. There's so much happening in and around our community and at Centra. And so um, we just get to talk about a little nugget of it, but it's going to be really powerful. So first, um, I would love to first talk about um, these areas that we have represented here, just for context. So Laura, we're going to start with you. Can you share a little bit about yourself as well as, as uh, Beacon of Hope? Oh, sure. Um, so Beacon of Hope has celebrated its 10th birthday, and um, we really are um, grassroots in every sense of the word. Mm -hmm. This community held a dialogue on race and racism back in 2008 to about 2010, mm -hmm. and Beacon of Hope was kind of the tangible thing that came out of that. And the idea is that no child zip code should determine how far that he can go yeah. in his life. And so Beacon of Hope has created these amazing future centers at Heritage and EC Glass. And our future center at Heritage, by the way, is the George and Senda Hurt Future Center, which we're excited about. Yes. Um, and we also launched the very first Promise program in the Commonwealth of Virginia in 2018. And it has now sent almost 1,000 students to college um, by this fall who are all Lynchburg City School graduates. They are going here close, staying close and going far, but they're also going across Virginia. They're graduating. They're doing amazing things. We have many of them here at Centra. So it's a very exciting initiative that helps grow, home grow our workforce. Yes. And that focus on education is incredible. I know even the even the strategic words that you have chosen to name your programs with promise in the future. And um, I mean, just hearing about them, I think speaks hope into our community. So thank you so much for being here. Oh, you're welcome. Um, and then Dina, what can you share with us about the Virginia Henderson Institute for Clinical Excellence? Absolutely. Well, it's, it's really my honor to be here today. And as the Vice President of Clinical Excellence, our department has just really um, the privilege of serving so many nursing departments throughout the entire health system, including Lynchburg General, um, Southside, Bedford, um, all of our campuses. We're just so delighted to be able to provide support. Um, some of our departments include the Simulation Virtual Learning Center and the American Heart Association over at Central College. Um, we also have our professional development team members, which help with the onboarding of our new clinical um, hires as they come into our health system. And we're especially proud of our Virginia Henderson Research Research and Innovation Center. And it's just such a such an honor because um, some people may not know that we're only one of two places in the entire world um, that's permitted to carry the name of Virginia Henderson. And so that's really um, an honor for us to be able to do that. Um, the other one is Sigma Theta Tall International, which is our honor society for nursing. So we carry that name uh, with a tremendous amount of pride. Um, our department, I also want to mention, because um, all of these departments support the work of Virginia Henderson here at Centra. Um, we also have our clinical nurse specialist department who um, includes our vascular IV access nurses, our wound care teams, um, our advanced clinical nurses. So, so much of the great work that our nurses are doing across the system really helps support and continue that legacy of Virginia Henderson. That is so incredible. And you know what's sticking out to me about what you're sharing is you have connected the legacy of Virginia Henderson to so many different areas within Centra. And that speaks directly to this passion, Dr. Hurt, that you have for healthcare and for education um, and to carry on the legacy of, from what I understand, is a relative of yours and your yes. wife's. So what can you tell us about this connection that you have with Virginia Henderson? 
Well, uh, my wife, Senda, uh, is Virginia Henderson's niece. Okay. And um, Virginia Henderson, uh, we call her Jenna, and she grew up in this area, right, in Forest, outside of Forest, wow. Virginia. Okay. And what was a boys' school at, uh, run by her grandfather. And uh, she left here uh, and went to Washington, D.C. At that time, the Army had a school of nursing. Okay. And that's where she got her initial nursing training. Okay. Um, the Virginia Henderson subsequently uh, left this area and practiced uh, in two major um, nursing uh, institutions. One is at Columbia University in New York City, and the other one later in life at New Haven in, at the Yale Hospital there. Okay. And she wrote uh, several books. Uh, probably the most famous one is Practices and Principles of Nursing. Uh, the, I think she uh, wrote <clears throat> the, the third, fourth, and fifth editions. Um, and that, um, that was actually translated into several different um, languages and were used as kind of, for many years, was the textbook of nursing used around the world. That's so um, The American uh, Association of Nurses uh, actually said that she was the premier nurse of the 20th century. Um, and the thing that is so important is that uh, for me was that she was a family member. And I got to know her very well. <clears throat> we would have um, family get-togethers, uh, and I would, being a doctor and she being a nurse, we would kind of get together and sit off in the corner and talk medicine and so <laughs> forth. And so I got to know her very well. She was a fascinating individual, a uh, great sense of humor, warm. Um, if if she was going to be in a conversation with you, she wanted to talk about you, not about her. And I think for a long time, we really had no idea that she was as famous as she was. She probably ultimately had somewhere around 13 or 14 honorary doctorate degrees. Oh my <laughs> she lectured all around the world. Uh, and uh, just a delightful person. And I treasured that uh, that association. I've, there have been two people in my life that I think um, I would really think of being almost world world reputation. And one is my chief of neurosurgery at University of Virginia, Dr. Jane, but the other was Virginia Henderson. I mean, she was truly a world figure mm -hmm. um, and changed so many lives. She, she was a vigorous uh, fighter for nursing uh, excellence and fought against the the kind of what would have been the 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 long-standing um, traditions and uh, fought for nurses she felt very strongly that nurses needed to be part of the treatment team mm -hmm. and uh, that their input was very valuable in determining outputs uh, uh, outcomes for patients um, but she was delightful and I I miss her terribly. She's actually buried in the cemetery at St. Uh, at St. Stephen's okay. in Forest, Virginia, along with the, there's a family plot there, but she's actually buried at St. Stephen's uh, right in Forest. So, an interesting individual. Yes. So. Well, and clearly she has made such an impact on you and your family. Yes. Which um, ties into, I'm sure, it would. Would you agree? It'd be safe to say that her legacy has been a huge inspiration for the legacy of giving that you're really leaving at this point. Well, to a certain extent, yes. I I have had, uh, you know, I as I, as you mentioned, I've I've been on the active staff for Centra Foundation Centra for uh, 52 years now, and so I started a long time ago. So. Um, Second only to my family has been Centra. And uh, my other area of interest uh, going way back has been education. Mm -hmm. And that's a little bit the reason that I have been so in, uh, interested in Beacon of Hope. I think mm -hmm. uh, Beacon, uh, my thoughts are that um, 
so many of the ills that we face today in the world, if you look at particularly our young people with drugs and early incarceration and early death and uh, violence, <clears throat> uh, that those kind of ills can be solved in large part by good education of our young people. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> if you give them a, a road up, so to speak, and that's what Beacon does. Uh, and so several years ago, I got entranced by this woman over here. <laughs> and uh, I have been a, um, a, a real fan of what Beacon does. And so mm -hmm. my two interests right now are Central Foundation and Virginia Henderson Clinical Excellence, and the other is Beacon of Hope. And that's why uh, I really wanted to support those two organizations. Yes. My interest in education goes way back. I actually got started, I served for about 10 years on the board of New Vista School. Okay. And, uh, and then I have supported education through the University of Virginia, and particularly the School of Nursing. I've been on their advisory committee. Uh, and then uh, this this uh, lady over here came along, <laughs> and uh, she has a, a hypnotic spell over me. That, <laughs> that, 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 so yeah, we have a hip. But uh, she is a she is a dynamo, and I, I, it's just amazing to try to to just watch her mm -hmm. and what she has been able to do with mm -hmm. Beacon. Yeah. Well, each of you are such a light for the organizations that you're here representing. And so um, when I read about this gift that you are benefacting forward of 1,500,000 for Beacon of Hope and 500,000 for the Virginia Henderson Institute for Clinical Excellence, um, and, and now hearing how they tie together so seamlessly for education and for these very specific passions that you have, um, it, it's incredible to see how Center can just be a part of it, you know, to see the commonality in in our mission and purpose and and just helping coming alongside people to live their best life, to come together, to do that together. So for this community, I love that everyone here is representing this. And so, but I do also want to speak very specifically about this gift. And you have shed some fantastic light on the why behind, which is important to understand. And so I love to hear from both Laura and Dean of how that gift is going to impact your areas. Well, um, it's tremendous. It's incredible. It's um, we are building a true legacy for this community, and you know, this Beacon of Hope serves only Lynchburg, and it's really an exciting thing that we can focus, laser focus, and make big impact yeah. in a very focused way. Um, and so, Doctor and Cinda Hertz Gift is going to um, help sustain our Stay Close Go Far scholarship fund um, in perpetuity. So as we were raising funds for the promise, we knew first I'm terribly impatient. So I wasn't going <laughs> to sit around and wait for five or 10 years to raise the money and say, okay, you know, every class of students that graduates is a class we would miss. And mm -hmm. so I, I think about everything we do in numbers of students' lives affected. Yes. So, you know, if it's a $5,000 gift, that's two lives right there changing in a year's time. And so wow. that that's how we kind of think about it this way. So Dr. Hurt's gift is going to create um, the seed of perpetuity that allows us to offer this scholarship, Stay Close, Go Far, to any preschooler, any little person who's thinking about what's next for them after their high school graduation. And that, to me, is what real hope is. That's how we change. Yes. We, we can change one class at a time. And we are, we are funded currently through 2027, which is our students moving in to high school now. Um, but wow. this, this is the key to being able to go into a kindergarten classroom and say the choices you make now will affect where you are in um, – 12 years down the road. Yes. And I hope everyone who is listening is picturing a face, a little face of someone they know who would really benefit from this because that's what I think helps us identify and helps these programs that you hear about become very real and tangible in your lives is, like you said, there are there are lives behind this that are, are going to be impacted and going to be very, very different for the better in this future. So It's really special. And when we launched the scholarship in 2018, 
I can remember um, John Capps, who's the president of Central Virginia Community College, mm-hmm. who who is a huge partner of ours as well, as as is yours. And um, he said, you know, wouldn't it be amazing if the term first-generation college student was obsolete in yes. Lynchburg because of what we're doing, because of Dr. and Mrs. Hurt? So that's that's my big dream. Yes. And that is what your legacy is contributing to. It's creating those big ideas that are now feasible. They can be they can be achieved. So yeah. thank you for sharing. And so Dina, how how would you share about uh, for specifically for Virginia Henderson Institute? Yes. Well, we we are incredibly just like Laura, so grateful um to Dr. Hurt and Cinda for their generosity and the great things that we're able to do because of that to support nursing and and really just a lot of the programs that we're we're hosting. Um foremost, I would say the Virginia Henderson Research Symposium is absolutely the highlight of the year for our nurses, and this fall we will be celebrating the 19th annual Virginia Henderson Research Symposium. And what's so special about that is that we host it in November, which is actually um, Virginia Henderson's birthday month. Her birthday is November 30th. So it's really like a big birthday party for her. But (laughs) we really get to celebrate all the research that our nurses are doing. And because of their generous funding, we were able to bring in an internationally known speaker, uh, Dr. Cynthia Clark, who talked about um, her work, her research um, about civility in the workplace. Mm -hmm. And then this really inspired our nurses um, throughout the entire health system Mm -hmm. um, to really dive into that research too. And because of that, many of them have published and and done presentations. So really, Virginia Henderson just continues to be an inspiration. Mm -hmm. Um, We also, Dr. Hurt was there with us at the symposium last year, and um, we were able to have record number attendance. We had over 300 nurses in attendance, wow. um, and that was in person and virtually. So we're very, very um, happy to share that. Mm-hmm. Um, also, I would share in just a couple more areas. Um, really, we've been impacted in so many ways. It's hard to list all of them. Our heart is so full. Um, but the next area would really be with our Virginia Henderson Scholars Program. Mm-hmm. And this is a new program that we launched um, this year. And this provides an opportunity for our high-performing, Um, nursing students to apply to Centra. Mm -hmm. Uh, They get um, priority clinical placement. Uh, They get to participate in a summer externship. And then also we are able to give them a retention bonus Mm -hmm. um, for up to three years with a work commitment to Centra. So um, this has just really been a part of uh, some of the ways that we've been impacted. Um, And then I would also share just the great work of the nurse residency program and our Bowen Center for Nursing Transformation is very Mm -hmm. connected to this in the work that the Center Foundation supports. But every year, we are so proud here at Centra to bring in over 200 nurse residents into this program. And this is an important part because we want to help these new nurses transition into their clinical practice Mm -hmm. uh, by bringing along preceptors and mentors to help them to be successful. Mm -hmm. And so all of this is part of this this great work that's happening as part of the Virginia Henderson Institute of Clinical Excellence. And then I would really also want to include um, just really what an inspiration that Dr. Hurt has been to me personally. Um, Mm -hmm. In one of our early conversations, I was asking him what's really important um, that we do here to honor the legacy of Virginia Henderson. And we had a great conversation about that. And because of that, I've been able to partner with our marketing team here at Centra to create two logos that are very, very special. Um, it's very important that we brand Virginia Henderson and her legacy mm-hmm. and I actually have um, a coin um, that was created and um, it has two images on it. Um, on this uh, Virginia Henderson coin, what we see is the historical silhouette of Virginia mm-hmm. Henderson that we see in the literature. And around that, uh, we'll see the 14 tenets of her nursing theory, mm-hmm. um, which as Dr. Hurt referenced, are all in her books that she published. But uh, what we know is nursing today, and as I speak really on behalf of nursing for our our entire system, um, how grateful we are for Virginia Henderson. Mm -hmm. Um, And those tenets speak to the importance of providing comfort and, you know, safety and excellence in the care that we deliver. And our nurses are continuing that legacy of providing excellent patient care. And and we're very indebted to to Miss Henderson and the work Mm -hmm. that she did. Wow. It's so personal. She's yes. so personally. May I see the yeah, coin? Yeah, absolutely. It's, she's so personally integrated into all of these various programs that 
Um, now bear her name. I, I'm sure you have seen this yes, coin. Me. Oh, it's beautiful. Um, but it is it is stunning. And That's and so to cool. have um, and what was the image you, you said was on the other side? Yes, thank you. So on the other side is our beautiful. Um, the mountains here in this yeah, beautiful yeah. area um, on the other side, as well as the Virginia Henderson Institute of Clinical Excellence mm -hmm. um, messaging. And what's so special about this is that we're able to present this to our nurses throughout the system who exemplify excellence. Mm -hmm. um, and this is very much similar to what we see um, in the military, where they have coining ceremonies and mm -hmm. they really want to honor acts of heroism and bravery. And uh, we were able to actually host an event recently to yeah. honor um, over 50 nurses throughout our health system who um, have demonstrated excellence, and each of them received this coin uh, as part of that, and that's going to be part of our tradition moving forward. What an honor and what an incredible takeaway for them. They're going to have that their entire lives as a memory of this this woman who th that you know has really set the standard to model that career and, and that education. So um, thank you all for sharing so much. I, I mean, this is this is wonderful. I feel like I've had this deep dive now <laughs> to wrap my mind around these wonderful things that are happening. And so I want to ask um, Dr. Hurt before we close, um, is there anything um, about this legacy of giving that you and your wife have really modeled for this community? Um, is there anything you'd like to share or even encourage others who would like to um, contribute in a similar way? Well, you know, I, I, I obviously, I was born in Lynchburg. I grew up here. Uh, my father was a general surgeon here. And so I am very much a product of this community. And I think one of the things that I am uh, proud of about the Central Virginia, Lynchburg in particular, is that it is a giving community. And uh, it is interesting that we have, I have no idea how many not-for-profit organizations we have here, but there's almost a tradition in this area that when uh, a need arises, uh, that some um, families or individuals uh, have a need that uh, almost automatically a not-for-profit springs up to identify yeah. that need. Yes. And <laughs> it's been, it's really been an uh, remarkable to me to see that happen. Um, so I, I'm very proud of the community and I, I've not uh, really lived any other place. I mean, I, we lived a year in California when I was in the service, but I can't imagine uh, thinking back about where we were in California, that it was anything like what we have here in Lynchburg. And so I think there is a tradition there. And I think that we need to uh, make sure that the entire Central Virginia population understands that that's what we need. That's what we do here. Mm -hmm. That's what sets us aside, um, apart. And um, and it's been a pleasure for me to do that. I mean, I've I've had various not-for-profit interests over the years. I've been involved in other situations, but right now um, these are my two uh, top issues. Right now, I mean. Um, I really think that, uh, and I have, as I have a long history, uh, going back, as I say, over 50 years of working with nurses and I feel a real sense of obligation to the nurses that have been part of my life. And, uh, I want, I think that it is a really important for Centra to, um, uh, make Centra, a warm and inviting place for nurses and respect nurses for what they do. I think that uh, very often I don't think the nurses get the recognition that they deserve for what they do. And that was kind of what Virginia Henderson was all about. She um, was fighting against a system that treated nurses as just kind of second-rate citizens, so to speak. And she was... Uh, are uh, fiercely uh, a proponent of nurses being part of the treatment team. And I've, I've said this before, but, you know, as a physician, you come into the kind of routinely, you come in to make rounds in the morning and you, you see a patient in bed for like 15 minutes at the most, and then you leave. The nurses are there 24-7. Yes. 
And they have uh, the observation that many times the doctor never gets. Mm -hmm. And that's invaluable. And that's what Virginia Henderson was all about, that nurses had so much to offer and add to the treatment um, protocols. Um, and I have recognized that in my practice. I said I just I think of all the times that nurses have been important to making the decisions of treatment that I would have missed otherwise. Mm -hmm. um, I think from Centra's point of view, and to get right down to it, we need to have a climate here that is so welcoming and supportive of nurses so that nurses, so that we attract the best, we train the best, but we retain the best. Mm -hmm. And it's all about recruitment and retention. Mm -hmm. And that, uh, that flows ultimately to Centra's bottom line, because if we can attract good nurses and retain them, then that works to everybody's benefit. Yes, absolutely. There's such a humility and a kindness in how you speak uh, about I nurses. Do. Yes. Um, thank you very much for, for your generous gift, but also for just being willing to sit here and chat with us, <laughs> help, to. help us understand it, and also to really encourage our listeners um, about how they can be a part of something and hear the, kind of the heart behind what's happening at right. Centra. Um, a lot of times we don't know that much about our local health system, but man, there's so much going on. Yeah. <laughs> it's wonderful. And thank you, Lara and Dina, both thank for you. sharing your wisdom and your heart behind each of the areas that you're here to represent. Um, I do want to encourage those who are listening. Um, Lara, do you want to share where people can get more information about Beacon <clears throat> of Hope? Uh, sure. Um, start with the web. Our website is beaconofhopelynchburg.org. And there's lots of great stuff on there. You can hear our students talking about programming. You can hear our donors talking about great things. You can slip over to the schools and see what's happening. There's mm -hmm. there's lots going on. Okay. And then I also know um, we have some presence on our, our Centra website yes. for the Virginia Henderson Institute for Clinical Excellence, as well as the other areas that represent the Virginia Henderson name. So you can find that at centrahealth.com forward slash Centra Nursing. Um, and I do encourage you all to go and familiarize yourself with each of these areas um, and see how you can be a part of, of those on your own. But uh, but also to to step into this this charge to facilitate a legacy of giving. I think giving for, is of course financial, but can also be a giving of your time um, and giving in the ways and, and the resources that you have at hand. And so I just want to challenge those who are listening to do that. And thank you all so much for joining us today on And So Much More. Mm -hmm.